everybody. Welcome to Music Moves for Piano Book 2, Unit 17. Let's start with the duple meter song. Bum bum bum, sing with me. Duple meter moves in two, moves in two, moves in two. Duple meter moves in two, move in two with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. Echo me, please. Do, do, to day, to do, day. Do, day, 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 to do, day. Do, to day, do, do, day, to do, to day. Do day do do ta ta do ta day ta. Now I'm going to chant a pattern. I'd like you to respond with your own rhythm pattern, but make sure it includes divisions. Divisions are do ta day ta. Anytime you have those tas after do or day. Do day do day do ta ta do day. Do, do, do to day to do to day. Do, do, day, do day. I'm going to sing a song called John Brown. Do, so, me, do, ti, do. Would you please pretend that you're a drummer? Bum, bum, ba, 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 bum, 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 ba, 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 bum, 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 ba, 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 bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. This time, would you move only your fingers? Bum, bum, ba, 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 bum, 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 ba, 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 bum, bum. Bum, bum, ba, 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 bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. This time I'm going to sing Fox Terrier. Bum, 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 ba, 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 bum, bum, bum. Would you move your arms in a pulsing way and clap with me on the rest? Bum, 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 bum. Now please sing with me, daughter come home, and move your body using rounded movements. La mi mi fa mi re do ti si la. our song to sing for this unit, which is called Polish Folk Song. Would you please do a knee and hip dance while I sing this song on bum? Here's your tonic triad. La, do, on which note of the tonic triad does the melody begin? So that starts on la. Do you hear any repeated notes in this melody? I'll sing just part of it. So that was just one time ba, ba, bum, bum, that we had a repeated note. Would you echo these tonal patterns, please? Ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. After you sing them back, would you please help me label them as tonic minor or dominant minor? Tonic or dominant? 
Bum, bum, bum. Wait. Sing. Bum, bum, bum. That one is tonic minor. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. That one is dominant minor. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. That one is tonic minor. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. And the last one is tonic minor. So we just had one dominant pattern. All the rest of them are tonic patterns. We're going to sing those on tonal syllables. Bum, bum. Do that pretty easily, yay, and if not, that's okay. We'll work on that intentionally another time. So we're going to listen for this first tonal pattern in the song. La, do, mi. See if you can figure out where it happens. Ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba. show you. La do mi mi bum 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 ba 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 bum bum la do mi mi bum 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 ba 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 bum bum so it's right there at the beginning of each of our two phrases in this song. Now let's listen for ti re bum bum ba ba bum bum ba ba I'll show you where that one happens. Ba ba bum bum ti re ba 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 bum bum ba ba bum bum ti re ba 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 bum bum. So if you notice, in both of those phrases, we had la do mi mi ti re. I don't know what my two hands are doing here. So la do mi mi ti re, which was a tonic pattern followed by a dominant pattern, right away at the beginning of each phrase. Now let's listen for la, mi, bum, bum. Ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, 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 bum, bum. Ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, 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 bum, bum. So that pattern is right at the end of our first phrase. So we had Let's see. Minor la. La do mi mi ti re ba 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 la mi. And then our last pattern, do la, is in that same place at the end of the second phrase. La do mi mi ti re ba 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 do la. So la mi ends the first phrase and do la ends the second phrase. It's like the first phrase asks a question, which is a phrase that we also use in music. La mi. Is this really happening? Do la. Yes, here's your answer. So echo this rhythm pattern, please. Bum, 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 bum. Echo me, please. Ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. On rhythm syllables. Do ta da di do da do ta di ta do da. Do ta da di do da do ta di ta do da. So now listen. Do you hear? that same rhythm pattern that we just chanted in the second phrase, 
or is it a different rhythm pattern? So think about that rhythm as you listen to these two phrases. So even though our pitches change at the end of each phrase, that rhythm pattern is the same both times. All right, go ahead and join me in singing this song, starting on bum, ba, bum. Sing with me. Ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba. So if you're having trouble with any parts of this song, remember to listen for that. There we go, minor one. La, do, mi. Right away at the beginning, followed by ti, re, which is our dominant pattern. Ba, 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 la, mi. Then we have our same thing over in the second phrase. La, do, mi, mi, followed by ti, re. I'm going to show you the chord changes. Normally I would have you sing the melody while I sing the chord changes, but that doesn't work right now very well. So I'm going to sing the melody and I'll play the chord changes on the piano. Can you please show me with your fingers whether I'm playing la or la, tonic or dominant? Sing the melody with me. And why don't you go ahead and just help me sing one time the chord changes, and then we're going to move in triple meter. Bum, 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 bum. All right, and I was wrong. Before we go to triple meter, we're going to do some tonal patterns in minor. La, do, mi, mi, fa, mi, re, do, ti, si, la. So would you echo these after me? I'm going to do groups of two patterns. I'll give you a moment to audiate, to hear these in your head, and then sing them back. The time that I give you to think about them is not time to think through the entire pattern, just a little bit of processing time, and then I'll sing them back with you. Bum, ba, 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 bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. 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 sit there. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, that feels more subtle. So all of these patterns, just so you know, are using our subdominant chord. 
bum, 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 and our tonic chord, bum, bum, bum. So subdominant and tonic, I'm getting ready to hear those more and more and pair those up with the tonic chord or with the dominant chord. All right, now we will move in triple meter. No, nope, don't put that away because I'm going to use it. We're going to sing the triple meter song. Bum, 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 sing with me. Triple, now feel as we're moving in three. Moving in three, moving in three. Triple, now feel as we're moving in three. Move now in triple with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do da di do da di do da di do da di. You chant macro beats. I'll chant micro beats. Do da di do da di do da di. Switch. Do 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 do. Echo me, please. Do da di do to di do ta ta to do. Do to de do da de do da to de do. Now you echo with your own pattern. Do da de do da de do de do. Do ta ta to do da de do de do de. I'm going to sing a village song. Would you please sing do? Do, which is our resting tone here. Would you please, while I'm singing, pretend to drive a race car but remain stationary, which from the very little that I understand is fairly accurate. You're being pushed so hard by gravity that you, you, by, by, oh, somebody tell me in the comment box below what the term is that I'm not thinking of at the moment. The G-force that you're being pushed by as you're moving along at high speed. So, you're pushing against that force so that it doesn't shove you back. And also remembering do, so, mi, do, ti, do. When I stop singing, freeze, continue not moving, and sing do. Ba, 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 do. Ba, 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 do. Ba, 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 do. Ba, 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 do. Whew. All right, if you are, nope, not at the keyboard, stay away from the keyboard because it's going to do some rhythm patterns. I'm going to chant a set of rhythm patterns for you. And I want you to tell me whether you think it's in duple meter or in triple meter. <laughs> Say it to the video, and then we'll also do these when we have our group class check-in. Don't move. All right, here we go. This will be easier, so I'm not chanting them like that. Ba 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 I'm gonna do that one more time because I know you're hearing some background noise here. Ba 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 That one is in triple meter. Second pattern. Ba ba That one is in duple meter. 
Third pattern. Ba ba. Nope. Try again. Ba 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 ba. One more time. Ba 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 ba. That one's in duple meter. So as I chant, try to find the macro beat. Focus on finding where is the macro beat. Is it here? Is it? Try to find where that macro beat is. You can also start by finding the micro beats here, just in one spot, and then see if the macro beats feel like this or if they feel like this. So one more. One more time. And that one is in triple meter. So if that was really easy for you, wonderful. I am so excited. If that was somewhat challenging, then you could play a wonderful game with a friend at home who could use a couple of tracks on the pattern CD to help quiz you. So particularly, we're looking at patterns that use elongations, division elongations, and divisions. So look for the division elongations. It'll say it right in the beginning of the pattern CD in the neutral syllable in duple meter and a neutral syllable in triple meter, have them randomly go back and forth and see if you can figure out what meter those patterns are in. All right, now, now we will go to the keyboard. We're going to do some review here at the keyboard playing the tonic dominant tonic arpeggios when G is do and E is la. So if you don't remember how to do this, this is on page 21 in your book. We're going to use a separated touch. Remember the arpeggios are... And we sing the roots. Then an E minor. to sing down to so, do, so, do, and when E is la, to sing up to me, la, mi, la. I personally find that easier. Now let's play springtime one and springtime two in G major and E minor, the same two keys that we just did. just a little bit. same fingering that we have for G major. So we have, if you're starting with your left hand, this hand, there we go, we have five fingers first, cross over to your middle finger on La. Use a separated touch, make sure you feel like your entire arm is balanced behind every finger that plays, so you're not going like this as you go across. In your right hand, you start with three fingers, and then you cross your thumb under on fa. Cross over. Part of the reason that we use a separated touch is to help us reset the hand on each one of those notes, so that you're not clenching your hand, that you're not 
just poking with your fingers. You want to move that whole arm across. Let's also review. This is from our last unit, E major, arpeggio, tonic, dominant, tonic, melodic, cadence, and scale. And then in C sharp minor, we're going to do the arpeggio and tonic, dominant, tonic, melodic, cadence. So in E major, if you don't know how to do these in E major, look at page 42, and then we'll look at 43 for the scale. So the arpeggio... Also to sing, make sure you sing do me so me do. You don't have to do that while you're playing. You can sing it separately. And then also, if you want to be brave, you can try the octave above. Do me so do so me do. Then let's try the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence. Make sure your hand is going up and forward as you go over those black keys. Also make sure that you're singing. Do, mi, so, so, ti, so, fa, re, ti, do, mi, do. Again, reviewing that it's your tonic. Do, mi, so, dominant, so, ti, dominant again, so, fa, re, ti and tonic. Do, mi, do. And then the E major scale is the same fingering that we just did for the C major scale. Five notes and then we cross over. We already had two black keys. We cross over to two more black keys. And then cross over to your thumb. goes up and forward as you get to the black keys and then in the right hand three fingers cross under on fa try to have your finger right in the center of the black key so that your hand doesn't fall off as you get to each of those black keys then let's look at the C-sharp minor arpeggio. This is on page 44 in your book. Remember, this is a black key, white key, black key. And the reason that we do E major and C-sharp minor together is because they are relative keys. They share the same, the same genes, if you will, all the same solfege. Do, la. We share the same solfege syllables on the same notes. So when we sing our C sharp minor arpeggio, we sing la, do, mi, do, la. And if you want to be adventurous, you can sing the high la. La, do, mi, la, mi, do, la. And then the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence. Keep your fingers right in the middle of each of those black keys. It feels a little bit like walking on stilts. You balance on those. And when we sing, la, do, mi, mi, si, mi, re, ti, si, la, do, la. The next thing we're going to do is look at the Exploration, Creativity, Improvisation section, which is on page 45 in your book. So we're going to do another changing meter project. We've been doing this recently for that last unit or two. So at least move your arms to whatever your macro beat is to get your tempo established. Then audiate, think in your head, triple meter micro beats while you're still moving to macro beats. So I'm thinking, do da dee, do da dee, do da dee, do da dee. Keep this same tempo, play a four macro beat triple meter rhythm pattern using macro beats and micro beats. So do da dee, do da dee, do. Keep that same tempo, 
Now we're thinking duple meter. Do day, do day, do day, do day. So the question is, can you change from a triple meter rhythm pattern to duple meter while keeping that tempo consistent, that speed? So make sure you try that every day. Mark today's date on the lesson side. Keep trying that every day. It takes a while really to become comfortable doing this. And at this slower speed, it's going to be more challenging as well. So if you can do it at this speed, then it will be easier to do it at a faster speed later. The other thing that we're trying in this unit is continued exploration of the different order of the tonic triad tones. Right now we're going to do a minor triad in E. So we're going to play and sing different orders of these three tones. how many different orders you can find using all three of those tones just one time. Then start to experiment what happens if you do just two of them. La, mi, do, la, mi, la, la, do. All of a sudden we have a lot more things we can try. So if that's really, really easy for you, there are a couple of things that you can do to challenge yourself. One thing that you can do is start to try four note patterns. Do, la, mi, la, something like that. Another thing that you could try is doing an inversion of the minor tonic triad. So instead of try la on top of that pattern and then try doing different orders. Do, mi, la. La, mi, do. Mi, do, la. So there are a couple of different things that you can do to challenge yourself and try something harder if this is easy for you. If you're finding this to be very challenging, try as many ways as you can with just these three tones right here in our root position in E minor. So also if you look at the left side of your page on page 45, most of the way down about here it says exploration, creativity, improvisation. So it says move to macro beats, audiate, that means here in your head, a triple meter micro beat chant a four macro beat triple meter rhythm pattern. So this is just what we did for our changing meter project, but we're chanting now. Do da di do 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 da di. Keep it going. Now I'm thinking duple meter. Do day do day do day. Do day, do, do, do day. Then a rhythm pattern. In, now we're going to chant a triple meter rhythm pattern. Do da di, do da di, do, do. Short pause, now duple meter. Do day, do, do, do day. So you're trying to do a couple of things. One is you're trying this chanting and playing. So the project on the left side of your book is chanting. The project that is in the middle of the page is playing. The other thing you're trying to do is shorten the amount of time in between. Shorten your transition time. How quickly can you move from triple meter to duple meter keeping the same macro beat? And then continue playing minor triad tones in different orders. It doesn't just have to be E minor, you could do D minor, you could do A minor, you could do C sharp minor. So these are all minor tonics or minor chialities that we've done. So you can try doing different orders there 
and then you can challenge yourself if you want, like I said earlier. We have one more improv activity that we're going to do before we review, and this is where I give you a rhythm pattern. I'd like you to play it on one key and create with this rhythm pattern. Use any keys this time, but play two or three keys at the same time. After you play your rhythm pattern, go ahead and answer your idea with a, either the same rhythm pattern or a different one. So I'll give you an example, and here's the rhythm pattern. So do da de do, echo me please. Do de do, de do, de do. Do de do, de do, de do. One key. two different keys at once. It can be keys that are close to each other like that, and it has this very crunchy or dissonant sound. You can also play keys that are farther apart that may sound a little bit more harmonious, may not, depending on what you're playing. So I'll do one more just to show you what other things could sound like. Do, de, do, de, do, de, do. sounds. You can make a lot of different sounds playing two piano keys at once. So have fun with that. Make sure whatever you do, start with the do, de, do, de, do, de, do rhythm pattern. Now we're going to look at some review. We've got one thing that we're going to finish up from unit seven. And this is back on page 22. We're going to look at old woman. We've already done the tonic dominant tonic arpeggios when do is G and la is E. We talked about those last time. You played them for me. So we're going to skip straight to old woman. And I talked last time about how you were going to try a new tonality and a new meter. And we spent some time trying out a new tonality or other things. What different sounds you can create by changing a note, particularly, most commonly, changing that middle note so that you go from major to minor. So you're changing me and you're lowering it by one half step so that you make it minor. Now, new meter. I said that we were going to try this and then we didn't actually get to try it last time. So when you play a song in a new meter, you start by audiating microbeats in that meter. So this song is originally in duple meter. We're going to audiate triple meter microbeats and rethink this rhythm in that meter. So do da de do, here I go. something like that, which is do, do, de, do, do, de, do, de, do, de, do, de, do. Or you can add some repeated notes in there to change the rhythm. I'm imagining that the easiest thing to start with will be to have the rhythm be as close as possible to the original, not to add repeated notes or not to add many, and then just to do it in triple meter. So I would try that first, and then you can expand and try other things. So I wanted to make sure to look at that, make sure you try Old Woman in triple meter, and then let's go ahead and look at some other review. So we started in our last unit looking at the minor hot cross buns, it's on page 24, 
And last time we reviewed the melody, I played the duet. I showed you what that accompaniment, I showed you what the duet was like when I played it with you, but I didn't show you how to play it. So today, I'd like you, when we're done today with this, to try it in a new chiality or with a new tonic. If you have not done that already, try the accompaniment part and also try singing and performing and creating with the tonal pattern. So I'm going to run you through those here. So you had... A is La. So now we're going to have a different La. Remember, this melody doesn't start on La. La ti do, do ti la. So if I'm moving to D minor, or have a new tonic, play something like springtime one or springtime two, just so that you understand where all of the notes are that you're probably going to be using. And then on, do, do, di, la, do, di, la. So try different ones that we've worked on. This is in A minor. We just did D minor, you could look at E minor, you could look at C sharp minor. So try one of those that we've already done. And then for the accompaniment, let's start by just looking at the root harmony. If you see in the accompaniment right here, it says tonic and dominant changes. We're going to look at the left side where it has la, la in your thumb and C in your pointer finger. Whoops. Oh yes, I'm still audiating it in D minor. So we start with So it's all la for the entire melody except right there at the end. So make sure you try that and then the accompaniment as written here did with Old Woman, where for the tonic chord, we're going to play la, mi, la, mi, la, mi, la. For the dominant chord, we're going to go C, mi, and then back to la, mi for our tonic. So if I play it by itself, you get an intro, sounds like try that this week. And then the other thing I said was, let's look at the tonal pattern. So when you sing the tonal pattern, the way that we sing that is that we take out all the repeated notes in the melody and we sing each pitch, each new pitch, as if that were one beat for each pitch. So for example, saying, whoa, that doesn't sound like the melody. I'll play the actual melody, the original one, as I sing what I just did for you. It'll be, the rhythm will be slightly different, but. And then instead of having the rhythm, we make each new pitch have its own pulse. It just stays on the pulse. it the same way that you just sang. And you can sing with your hand if you want to play and sing at the same time. Then when you create
create with it, put a new rhythm pattern. I'd advise starting out staying in the same meter. So we were already in duple meter. We're going to stay in duple meter. <clears throat> Let's say we could do do, data, do, do, data, do. that where you have just one rhythm pattern that you repeat throughout the song. You can change the rhythm as you go through, but make sure that you're using the same pitches in the same order and you're creating a new rhythm that goes with that. So go ahead and give me some feedback after you've tried this. I want to know how easy or how difficult that is for you. It tends to depend on the song. Some of the songs are easier to follow and some of them are more challenging. So make sure you try this week, if you have not already done so, new two new chialities or two new tonics, the accompaniment and hands together, and the tonal pattern. And then we're going to look at Latvian folk song. Last time we just quickly reviewed the melody. play in two new chialities or with two new tonics. Did you notice that when I play bum, 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 I didn't quite hold my note long enough. So easy to rush those. So notice when you move this to a new tonic, you're still starting on la, so that will be a little bit easier to find. So try that with two new tonics. The accompaniment for this one, we're going to start with the tonic and dominant changes. Same thing here over on the left side, we're going to have la in your thumb and C in your pointer finger. I'm still thinking, oh, that's my, <laughs> I'm still in E minor. <laughs> All right, so, La and C. Here's what our harmony sounds like. So this is actually the same that we just did in the minor hard cross bun. It's la all the way until the end where we have C, la, I, one. So when you do the accompaniment then, it's also going to be very similar, except that most of the time your right hand or your melody hand is playing divisions. So the left hand is probably going to feel slower. So you're going to start out, you get to begin with a do to day, do to day. Go ahead and try that out this week. Let me know if you're having trouble with that, and I'll help you problem solve as we have our group class check in. And then do try also the rhythm pattern. If you have not done this already, make sure you chant the rhythm pattern, perform the rhythm pattern, that means play it on one key, and create with the rhythm pattern. So use new notes, but the same rhythm pattern. And we've done this extensively in our other books, so I'm not going to go over it here, except to remind you that the rhythm is do to data do day, do to data do, do to data do day, do to data do. So show me something that you've come up with as you've worked on that this week. We're going to look very briefly at gliding in unit nine. We're just going to review the solo part today, the melody. And so remember when you look at this one, we're in triple meter. So we're thinking do da di do, do da di do. We're in major tonality. Do be so me do ti do. Do is G. Oh. There we go. And we start on do. So whenever you come, try doing some.
something like, just get yourself into the mind, the frame of mind of G major, so that you're really ready to hear this piece as you go to play. So it shows when you start here, the thing I was pointing to before, your left hand is going to do Do, Re, and Mi, right hand does So and La, and then your left hand is going to cross over to do Do, and this is our first three patterns are going to use that. I'll go ahead and play the whole song and then I'll talk about the ending. Do da di do, here I go. song. So as you play this, remember that the first three patterns are the same, except they end slightly differently from each other. First pattern ends on Mi Sol. Second pattern Mi Re. Third pattern is just like the first one. And then for the last pattern, start with the left hand, this hand right where you are. You're going to go on mi, re, do. The right hand's going to move up to this mi, re, do. And then you're going to move out. Your hands are going to move out from each other. And on. So just review the solo part this week. If you're feeling brave, you can try it in a couple of new chialities. Maybe we've done this already. So at least review the solo part and we'll build on that next time when we do more Unit 9 review. The last thing we're going to do today is to learn the performance piece for this unit, which is English folk song. I'm going to go ahead and just play this before you even turn there. Would you please move to macro beats? Figure out if the micro beats are in triple meter or if they're in duple meter. If you're having trouble feeling, it's because there aren't a lot of just consistent micro beats in this piece. So if you're having trouble finding it, Go ahead and start to move in triple meter. This is in a very fast triple. Very fast. Do dadis. And then it uses a rhythm that we're going to talk about in a minute. So think for a moment before we go to the rhythm patterns about the tonality of this piece. Just play the second phrase. So this is minor. Can you audiate the resting tone? No. rhythm patterns in this piece. There are three that we're going to look at. Go ahead and echo these. We're going to have this pretty fast micro beat. Do da de do. Echo me please. Ba 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 and we're going to do those on rhythm syllables. Do, de, do, de, do, do. Do, de, do, de, do, do. Do, de, do, de, do, da, de, do. Do, de, do, de, do, da, de, do. Do de do de do do de do de do. So watch out for those elongations. This is just full of the single most common elongation that you're going to find in triple meter. 
Doody. Doody. When I think of all of the songs that I initially learned in triple meter, um, our song out of your head by singing other songs, listen for that elongation. Do de do de do 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 de do de do da de do. Yep, I, we can't do that very effectively. So I'm going to chant the first rhythm in this song, and I'd like for you to chant the second rhythm back. And because I just sang all those other songs, I'm gonna play it one more time. So I'm going to chant. You'll respond with. Here I go. Now let's do the second half of the song. My part is do de do de do 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 de do de do. Let's try that. Do de do de do 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 de do de do. So go ahead and echo these tonal patterns, please. Bum bum bum. Now we're going to do those on solfege. La, mi. La, mi. Mi, re, do. Mi, re, do. Let's listen for those in this song. Of our two phrases. And then listen for mi, re, do, bum, bum, bum. Now we sound like hot cross buns. Sorry, getting another song in your head again. All right, listening for. song because there are a couple of places that are very certainly mi, re, do, and then there are a couple of places not so certain. So certainly we have mi, mi, re, do. Mi, mi, re, do. But what about the end of the first phrase? So maybe no. It does go down past do. Are we in a non-chord tone? Is that just a lower neighbor that's pulling us back up to do re do ti, which is another neighbor? So you could be audiating that, is what I'm trying to say, as a mi re do, or you could not be. Either way, I think would be okay. And then at the end, do we hear it again? So at that part, I would say that even though is part of the pattern, I wouldn't say that we're really going to hear 
as the pattern for that section because it really continues all the way down to la. So for that section, we'd probably be hearing me, la, me, ba, bum, bum, la. Probably. We'd just be hearing me stepping all the way down to la. Okay, would you please turn to page 46 if you're not there already. Take a look at the music information box on the top left part of the page. We are in triple meter. Hey, do da dee do. Here we are. We're in aeolian tonality. Ooh. Right now it just sounds like minor, but when we put the accompaniment in, you're going to hear the aeolian. Very cool. La is E. Aeolian has the same resting tone as minor. La. And our melody starts on La. So go ahead and sit in a comfortable position. You're going to use all five fingers in this hand for the melody. Go ahead and play Springtime 1 in E minor just to get yourself comfortable with E minor. Take note of that black key. T, La, T. And go ahead and play and sing these tonal patterns. La, Mi. just the first pattern of this piece. Prepare your hands and your fingers on the keys. Think your starting key. Remember, we're going to start with La. So mentally get your thumb ready. And then while we play this first pattern, please chant the micro beats. So chant do da di do da di do da di do da di. That's as much as we're going to play. Do da di do da di. to make sure that this do de do de rhythm is so locked in, so comfortable. Do da de do da de do da de do da de. Once you can do that, let's try the second one. The second one, we're going to step all the way down from me to T. sure that you're chanting those micro beats so that you can really hear how long the do's are. Hear that elongation. Do, de, do, de, do, da, de, do. Or do, de, do, de, do, da, de, do. Make sure you chant your micro beats while you're doing each of those phrases and each of those patterns. Now let's play the first phrase. The first phrase is where it really sounds like we come to some point of rest. So it's actually those first two patterns together are going to make what we would call our first phrase. Do da de do, here we go. Do de do. starts out the same way. The last phrase is going to step all the way from me to la. Remember we said how we would audiate that. We'd be thinking me steps down to la. And then remember the rhythm there is do, de, do, de, do. Just try that. Do, de, do, de, do. We call that a five finger pattern or a pentascale playing all five of those notes. All right, let's go ahead and play the whole piece 
So we're going to play at the same speed. If you're not ready to play the whole piece, play, please push pause, go back, practice parts, come back to this later. If you're ready, let's go ahead and do this now. Do da di do, here we go. Do di do. the duet part with you and I'm going to chant do daddies all the way through the song because I only remembered halfway through this last time that we did it. Then you can hear our Aeolian moment. Do daddy do ready play. Do and it's kind of stormy outside and the boat is rocking and I'm out there just enjoying this seasick feeling that I would be having. But it's, it, that's what I call to mind when I hear something like this. Love this, love this sound. So I'm gonna do it one more time without chanting all the way through just so you can hear how this would go. I'm gonna keep this same speed. In my mind, I audiate this piece considerably faster than this, but I think this is a wonderful place to start when you're learning to play this piece. So I would start here. I don't remember how fast it is on the audio track, so go ahead and try it on the audio track as well if you're ready to try it faster. I imagine it's at a faster tempo. Do da di do one more time. this song. I think it's great fun to play. All right, so just to wrap up, remember for your practice instructions this week, finish your unit seven and eight review. We talked about exactly what to practice from those units. Please mark today's date whenever you're watching this by all of the lesson sides and practice those all week. Show those to me when you have your group class check-in. Please practice English folk song. Please play it with the accompaniment that I have here or the accompaniment on the audio track that goes with this. It's so much more enjoyable, I think, when you can hear that Aeolian sound from those chords. So please mark everything that we've done today. Do the melody. Please try the melody in your left hand as well. Try the melody in your other hand. Uh, please also mark the meter projects in your book. Also notice that we have other improv projects over here on the left side of the page. Slightly different, where we did our chanting projects instead of our playing projects. So make sure you're trying those as well this week. Listen regularly to the recordings from the audio tracks for this book and also to the pattern CD. Echo the patterns on both of those. Remember, you can also use the pattern CD with a helpful helper at home to practice trying to figure out if you're hearing duple meter or triple meter. This is also something that you can do listening to anything that comes on the radio or an advertisement. Try to think about where is the pulse? Am I hearing duple meter or am I hearing triple meter? And I just tried to confuse you as much as possible by moving in triple while I said duple and by moving in duple while I said triple. So if you're still following, kudos to you. Make sure you improvise and create every day. Play your own music, make up your own music. We're using all of these as jumping off points so that you can have structured ideas. You can also create your own ideas based off of anything that you want and please show those to me. Make sure you chant rhythm patterns when you play that helps you to feel where you are in the meter. And remember that your assignments are printed in the book listening assignments on the bottom left hand side of page 45 at the beginning of unit 17. 
Thank you so much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano Book 2, Unit 17, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.